Hi, this is Steve from the GI department, and I wanted to give you um, some information about an uh, endoscopic ultrasound uh, scope that we use that is used mostly for diagnostic procedures. This scope is called a radioscope. This particular one is made by Olympus, uh, and it has some features on it that are quite unlike a regular endosco video endoscopic scope. And the, the main feature is, number one, it has a ultrasound transducer at the very tip of the scope. And this particular transducer gives an image 360 degrees around. It's like... Um, I suppose if you've seen a CT scan and it takes these slices, well, as this goes through the body, it takes ultrasound-looking slices at the same time. It also has a video camera here so we can see where we're going and uh, suction, water, a uh, working channel port that's not very big. It's only 2.2 millimeters wide, but we can get a very, you know, a very small uh, pair of uh, forceps into there to take biopsies with if we have to. But this being a diagnostic scope, it doesn't have to have a real big working channel. A little foam rubber boot here. Uh, after the scope is processed, uh, high level disinfected, when it goes to the drying cabinet, this is placed, after it's dried, this is placed over the tip to produce this very delicate transducer. Now, the other unusual part about this scope is if you've ever worked with ultrasound equipment before, you'll know that the transducer uh, is connected into the, to the ultrasound processor by way of a large connector with, I can't even count, it looks like there's a hundred different pins in there. I don't know if it uses all of them, but all the older type ultrasound connectors look just like this. The newer ones are a lot smaller, but this is uh, old school. And this connector here also has to uh, be kept watertight when it's being processed. So I have this cap here. Cap's going to go over the top of it when we're done with the scope, like so. And another clip over here. Like slow, like so. So here we have a watertight uh, cup that goes over the ultrasound processing connectors. Um, just like any other uh, endoscope, it has a water resistant cap that goes over the electrical connector of the scope. This, of course, is the video portion of the scope. Light guide tube air pipe, suction barb or suction connector. Other side is the air water connector so that we can put CO2 actually or and or water through the scope uh, if we need to. This also uses a balloon just like the linear scope I showed you earlier. It uses uh, a balloon that we put over the top of the transducer. The balloon fills with water it looks like a big donut around the scope, kind of. And uh, when it's inflated with water, we want to make sure there's no bubbles in there because those will interfere with the image. But as I was saying before, water is dense, and it helps um, transmit and receive the ultrasonic uh, uh, sound waves that are coming out of this transducer. So there will be a, a, a balloon around it during use, but when it's... Uh, being cleaned, of course, and being processed, uh, we take the balloon off of it. Uh, the control handle on this scope is not unlike a regular endoscope. It has the controls up here, the left, right, up, down, the uh, angulation brakes right here to uh, lock the scope in a certain position if the doctor wants to. It has, uh, up here though, it has two different types of, of valves. 
that we use in ultrasound scopes. The bottom one here is a air water port, and it uses a different kind of valve. It's a three position valve. Putting your finger over the top uh, produces, uh, allows CO2 to go through the scope. Putting, pushing it down a little bit will uh, shoot water across the lens uh, of the video uh, uh, camera down here to keep the lens clean so we can see where we're going. And uh, also, if you push it all the way down, it will eject water. So this, this suction cap up here is, also, is two ways. Uh, if you press it down halfway, it will, uh, in, uh, it will suction uh, fluids through the end of the scope. If you press it down all the way, it'll suction um, all the water out of the balloon. And the same with this. If I push this air water uh, connector all the way down to uh, as far as it will go, it's going to inflate the balloon. So it also has the uh, buttons, four buttons up here for um, connect for um, the for video, one for taking pictures, one for uh, a still image, one for magnification, and uh, one for uh, and one for uh, narrowband imaging, which is something we do here. We uh, it's a it's a special light spectrum we can use in order to spot. Uh, abnormalities in the mucosa. So if you've got uh, any questions about this, come to me also in this bag of valves, because each scope has its own set of valves that, that stays with it, that belong to each scope. This also has a device in here to helps, that helps us to put the balloon on the transducer, which it can be kind of tricky if you haven't done it very much. And that pretty much wraps it up for the radial scope. If you've got any questions, please ask me.